Hi everybody, I am very excited to show you my brand new corset and when I say brand new that is a relative term because this corset is actually well over a hundred years old and this is hopefully the first in a large collection of antique corsets because I am totally in just in love with the idea of antique corsets and um, getting to learn a bit about the history of the garments and the way they're constructed and the styles and really just um, the tangible getting to hold a piece of history like this um, and an added pleasure is really getting to actually wear this piece to kind of transport you into the footsteps of somebody who would have lived in the time period and worn these garments every day. It really gives me a new perspective on corsetry and history and I just, I absolutely adore um, having this piece and so hopefully there will be many more to come after this. Um, this is actually a ribbon corset or a tape girdle um, from about the time period of the turn of the century 1900 to 1905 and you can see it's actually composed of individual ribbons here that uh, are put together and it is a lovely uh, silk ribbon that is backed with the cotton here to form the two panels on the front and two on the back with the uh, bony panels on the side that are a stronger um, a cotton type fabric and this is an 18 inch course it's very tiny and because of its age and fragility I've only la laced it to about 22 inches right now and that is because I don't want to put any undue stress on it more than is necessary to show you guys in this video and maybe take a couple pictures because I believe that uh, these items are really special and need to be protected and preserved and that being said I um, did uh, put I only put this on after freshly taking a shower and after wearing my regular corsets for several hours to adapt my body to the pressures so the corset doesn't have to work so hard and um, I won't be wearing this out this is really just to, to share with you guys and to uh, study for myself and to just lovingly adore <laughs> and like I said it is the ribbon corset so you can see the two panels here with the boning panels on the side and then another ribbon panel in the back with the boning on either side of the laces here. And one of the most intriguing parts about this particular corset is the boning. And it's got the, uh, the regular the steel busk here with the five pins. Um, the two offset here closer together in the abdomen. But the most intriguing part is the fact that it is a combination of steel flats and whalebone. And the side panels here, they have four bones on each panel. And the outer ones are steel flats, which I have tested with a magnet. They are steel. But the inner two are whalebone, which is just absolutely beautiful when you hold it up to the light. It's got this almost translucent quality that I just absolutely love. Historically, the ribbon corsets were not worn as foundation garments by themselves, but on top of a stronger everyday corset to accentuate the waist over gowns as a more decorative item. Though, if you are a slim figure or a more petite woman, then you could probably get away with wearing this as your everyday corset, though that was not its intention or main purpose. But I just absolutely love this, so let me give you guys a close-up. I really hope you can see this beautiful fabric on camera. It's um, a patterned fabric here. I'm not sure, it's not really a brocade, I'm not sure what it is, but it's got this lovely pattern and texture along the busk and the boning. And like I said, this is a, a silk ribbon that's backed with cotton, and I'm sure it was uh, originally an ivory or an off-white color, but over time it's aged gracefully to this lovely patina that gives antique clothing it's such its wonderful charm. I also really love the uh, dainty, delicate little binding that they put on here. So here is the uh, boning panels on the side, and the two on the outside here and here are the steel bones, and the two here and here are actually the whale bones. And the, the two channels here that look like they should have a bone in them actually do not. And as do, this does not have a bone on it either, right beside the busk. But there's also the combination in the back of the steel and the whalebone. 
And the lacing on this corset is actually two separate pieces, and I'm not sure if they're original or not um, because of the length. I'm assuming that they are not original, and also the fact that um, the top one is a thinner cord and the bottom is a thicker one. And so I'm not sure which one is original, but I'm, I'm kind of guessing neither are. But you can see that they are both tips with the metal aglets, or however you pronounce that word. But they're the ones that came with the corsets so the ones I kept in it. And you can also see the uh, lovely little eyelets. Um, they're actually one piece, but they're rolled neatly on either side. You can also see that it's got this beautiful little uh, silk ribbon here, which because it's silk, it's uh, seen better days, but it's still really cute. And I must say that they really knew what they were doing when they were making corsets back in the day because this is really a very comfortable piece. And I'm assuming that because women had to wear their undergarments and their corsets every day that they have uh, developed ways of making them as comfortable as they possibly can. And this is just really a, a very comfortable piece to wear. And I'm very... Um, impressed with the amount of shaping that this ribbon corset gives because I was under the impression before that ribbon corsets uh, were more of a slim or a, a more subtle shape, but I, I'm very impressed with the amount of curves that this one gives. I got this one off eBay and um, I've kind of been keeping an eye out for more because I really do love uh, the idea of the antique corsets and like I said before, hopefully this will be just the first in a large collection. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed seeing this. I'm absolutely in love with this piece and I'll get back to you guys in the next video. See ya!